Hello viewers, welcome to Taxonomy Online Mathematics episode number 4. We want to provide answer to the question on WASI 2024, February 2025, February edition. So there are X number of red and Y number of blue balls, all of the same weight in a box. The total number of balls in the box is 20 and the X plus 2 is 2. That is the ratio of the X plus 2 to that of the 2Y plus 1 is equal to 2 is to 5. We have to find the value of X and Y and then find the probability of both red and what? The blue. Now, let's take it again. They said there are X number of red. So the total number of red balls is X. Total number of Y balls is also what, which is the blue, is going to be what, Y. Now, if they are saying that the total number of balls is 20, meaning the red number or number of red, <coughs> excuse me, plus the number of blue, when we add the two together, we should be getting what, 20, right? So, let's take it from that side. We can say that X plus Y is equal to 20 if that statement here the total number of balls in the box is 20 and there are red and there are what blue add the two together you get it since x and y are variables that is unknown we can label that as what equation one then let's come to the ratio the ratio of this simply means this divided by this so we can also say that and also the first re uh, term x plus 2 divided by the second term 2y plus 1 should be given to us as well 2 and 5 you know ratios are also fraction right now if this is done we can cross multiply whereby 5 is now multiplying x plus 2 that will be equals to 2 multiplying 2y plus what? 1. We can expand to remove the brackets. So 5 times x, that will be 5x plus 5 times 2, 10. That should be equals to 2 times 2y, two that will be 4y plus 2 times 1 will be 2. All right, since I'm seeing variable which is different from this, let's bring all the variables to the left. Then the constant to the right. So our 5x will maintain minus 4y should be equals to positive 2. Then we transpose the 10 to become a minus. So fast forward, 5x minus 4y will give you negative 8. This is also an equation that we have two variables that are not given to us. We don't know which is unknown. So we need to solve the two equations simultaneously. So we can say that solving, let me just say equation one and two simul simultaneously. Let me rewrite it. That will be x plus y equals to 20, 5x is it plus minus 4y equals to minus 8. So this is equation one, this is equation two. Now, we can do substitution or elimination. In this case, I would like to eliminate. So I'll be multiplying equation one by the four here, so that I have four, four, so that I il eliminate the y easily. You can also eliminate the x by using five to multiply equation one. So here we have equation one, by what? 4. So that means 4 times x will be 4x. 4 times y, 4y. 4 times 20, that will be 80. Let me just say this is equation 3. Let's bring down the equation 2. So here we are going to add. So equation 2 plus what? Equation 3. Don't forget 4x plus that of the 5x will give you 9x 
when you add negative 4 plus positive 4, you get 0. So this is eliminated. Then this will be equal to 72. Remember, 80 plus negative 8 will be a subtraction of that two numbers. So we divide both sides by a word, 9. So divide by 9. That means 9x divided by 9, 72 divided by 9. And that will make your x to be equal to what? 8. All right. So let's say we put x into any of the equations. I prefer to go back to equation 1. Let's say you have equation 1. So wherever I see x, I put in 8. Y should be equal to 20. I need a Y. So maintain the Y. Let's subtract 8 from both sides. That means Y equals to 12. So therefore, so the value of X and Y will be 8 and what? 12 respectively. All right. I think the first part of the question has been answered. Finding the value of x and y. You can see that when x is 8, y is 12. When you add a 2, you get your 20. When you are make that also here, you get minus 8. What is the next question? We are to find that if a ball is selected at random from the box, find the probability that the ball is what? Red. Probability is just the event, which in this case red, over total event or total sample space, right? And the event in the case is x is standing in for red. So 8 divided by total. What will be the total? Giving the question as 20. So we just have to do substitution. So here we know that uh, x equals to red, right? And y, let me just say, equals to 8 y equals to blue equals to what 12 so the first one probability of what red equals to number of red right so let me say number of red over i'll use x number of red is going to be 8 divided by 20 4 here 2 and 4 here 5 so 4 the first part which is asking for the number of red will give you 2 on 5. Let's see if we can squeeze in the second one. Probability of blue equals the number of blue total sample space. The number of blue, we have it to be 12. So 12 divided by 20. In this case, I think 4 again will go here. 3, 4 will go here. 5. So that when we add a 2, we get 1, that is 5 over 5. All right. I guess we are good to go knowing the value of X and Y. Finding the probabilities of the two colors, blue and red, will not be a problem. Don't forget to leave a comment. Feel free to ask questions for clarification. Share with somebody and let's keep on learning together.